MBS Conquer online basic finish line course. This is for the first MBS students for the paper 1. I myself Dr. Satya Ushasri, consultant author on this team MBS Conquer. Today going to discuss about growth fields, growth center and growth sites. Coming to the growth fields. This is nothing but the bones which are forming are enveloped in the soft tissue. Like a mosaic pattern, it is the bone, bony cells are sandwiched between the tissues and the potential for the bone growth lies in the tissues. That are the soft tissues which are present like nerves, blood vessels, connective tissue, brain etc. It is inherently describing the functional matrix hypothesis. So the growth fields are very large and uh, they, they are responsible for the formation of uh, uh, the entire nasomaxillary complex and mandible. So, if you see here, the growth fields are present in the form of a blue area. So, the outside structures, uh, these are the outside structures and these are the inside structures lying on the mandible area. So, these between these soft tissues, the bony structures maxilla and mandible are present. So, the blood vessels, nerves, glands and uh, the tongue, muscular tissues etc. are all inherently contain the information required for the formation of the bone. And uh, regarding the growth center and growth site, this growth center and growth site mainly present in individual bones. So, if you see the growth center, they are the particular growth center for the maxilla, particular growth center for the mandible will be present. And uh, the entire uh, uh, maxilla is formed by the growth center. So, in order to form an individual bone like maxilla, mandible, a growth center is required. Whereas the growth site, a part of a bone is formed because of a growth site. Because of the growth in the pa one part of the bone, there may be displacement or dislocation, uh, uh, displacement of the particular bone. Primary displacement or secondary displacement is also based on this concept only. So, the growth center is nothing but a special area which controls overall growth of the bone. Whereas the growth site is merely a location in the bone itself where the growth occurs. So, the example of the growth center lies the epifacial plates, plates of long bones and also the synchondrosis of the bones which are present. Whereas the growth sites, here the condyle, mandibular condyle and maxillary tuberosity is responsible for the bone growth. That is either resorption or deposition takes place and they move the bone in one direction. So, this is the growth site showing uh, uh, the condylar position of the mandible. It is also present in the growth field and it may be a part of a growth center but it cannot be the growth center. Whereas, the growth center can be a growth site also. Here is the growth center. It is a location independently present and it is the responsible for overall formation of the mandible. Here is a small uh, uh, table which is present in, uh, in your profit uh, uh, table 2.1 profit uh, textbook and you have to mention this uh, table as a part of a 7 marks question then it will be very good uh, uh, information uh, regarding the growth site and the growth center various uh, growth sites and centers present in your maxilla and mandible thank you